Hello everyone and welcome back to the Artist Consulting YouTube channel. My name is Jared Farber. Now previously my colleague Paul had walked us through how to get base64 images to appear in Power BI desktop files. Today I'm going to take you through a little bit of an addition to that, which is how to get base64 images with uh, over your number limit of characters into a Power BI desktop file. There's a quick little trick we can do to get those to appear. Now a lot of times your uh, images might appear as, you know, as an example, might be employee photos or something, you know, kind of sensitive. So your binary uh, image data might be stored in a SQL server or something along those lines. Um, you can actually pull those into Power BI Desktop, very similar to how you did in the previous video, but there's an additional concept we have to go through uh, to get those to appear correctly. So the limit for uh, Power BI cells is uh, just over 32,000 characters. And a lot of times for medium to high resolution photos, um, those can be actually be stored as you know, uh, a higher number of characters than possible to be stored in one cell. So we have to store those in multiple cells. Um, a, w a good way of getting around this is essentially getting those to you know, come into your Power BI file, uh, combining them within Power Query, uh, you know, separating those out into cells and then combining them into a specific measure itself. So let's kind of walk through how that, what that looks like. We go into transform data. We've got this table called base64 images. And for this example, I pulled in uh, two specific images just from you know, stock photos. One's of a street, one has a dog in it. Um, and you can kind of see here on the top what the, uh, the image files look like. Um, each of these have about a couple hundred thousand characters in each, uh, each image file. So with 32,000 image, uh, 32,000 character limit, these are all not gonna be stored in one cell. So if we go down a couple of steps, we go down here to change type, we've got our description for street and for dog, and then the image itself. Um, the next few steps are essentially what we have to do to get these to uh, appear as different cells, and then we can combine them within a measure itself. So the first step is we're gonna create a split text function. I like to do 30,000, the, the real limit is about 32,700, um, but I like to use a pretty, you know, pretty round number just to make that easier to remember. So we're gonna create our own, uh, our own function called split, uh, split text function. The next step is we're gonna take in from our change type step, which was just before that function creation, we're gonna take in the, uh, the table itself and create a list out of them. The next step after that, is essentially uh, creating the, the binary conversion itself. So we're gonna take in our list as our input. We're going to uh, call it as the input. We're gonna take the text uh, and then convert it, uh, convert it from binary to text, um, followed by using our split text function to uh, get these to split out by 30,000 characters and then adding the file name itself. Following that, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to ask uh, Power Query to do this for every single cell. So in this in this example, we've only got two images, but you know this could be hundreds or thousands or you know however many images you wanted. And then our last step is we're going to be combining the list themselves. So now we've got you know a, a separate list of thirty thousand characters um, for each photo, depending on how many characters it appear. So for example, say a, a, a photo had a hundred thousand characters in binary. This would be split out into four lists: three as you know, thirty thousand characters, and then a fourth one with ten thousand. Then our last step is we're converting it to a table. So now you can see street has thirteen different columns, and dog has fourteen different columns, um, and these are split out by thirty thousand characters. So the first row for street, this would be characters one through thirty thousand. The second uh, second row here is is characters thirty thousand and one through sixty thousand et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The last step we have to do here is add an index column and we're gonna be using this index column to convert it on the front end. So now we've got our table set up correctly. We're gonna actually go into this measure called display image. And the way we've uh, set this up is doing a concatenate X and we're basically doing this on the picture itself. So for each picture, we are con uh, concatenating um, each cell that's, that has that, that label for the, uh, the picture itself. So for dog, essentially what it's saying is we're converting every column, every row that has the, the, the label for dog next to it and concatenating it into one big, big long string. And you can see here on the front end, 
after we use display image and pull it into a table. Once we convert it into a uh, image URL, like our uh, my colleague Paul had mentioned in the previous video, you can actually get those photos to appear now, even though on the back end, the number of characters is too long to actually uh, fit in one cell. Um, so this is kind of a cool way to get, you know, photos, high, re high resolution photos and, you know, photos with a uh, larger number of characters to appear in your Power BI file. Um, you know, for more information, please refer to our original video on Base64 images. Um, and give you some great information on how to convert these and how to get these to appear themselves. Um, thank you everyone very much for listening.